Hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have read some books. What? What, what a weird concept. A channel where I talk mostly about books and I've read some more books. I want to do this as like quick as possible. So let's see how that goes. Uh, I know myself and that is not a concept that I know. But let's try it anyway. <laughs> so, the first book I want to talk about is Seven Exes by Lucy Vine. In Seven Exes, we follow Esther, who has decided to revisit her, you guessed it, her seven exes. Convinced that one of them is the one that got away. Seven exes, seven missed chances. Who was the one that got away? This is the question we must answer, or rather, try to find out. With the comedic genius that is the author Lucy Vine, we go through first love, the worst mistake, the overlap, the friends with benefits, the missed chance, the bastard, and the serious one. Which of these are the one? Read it to find out. Honestly, if you like romantic comedy and you haven't heard of Lucy Vine, where have you been? Go to your nearest bookstore. Go right now. Now. I will wait here. You go to your nearest bookstore and pick up one or all of her books. So this is the fifth one that has come out. So you're just like right on time to start binging her very bingeable books. Because each one of them they deliver and what they deliver is pure gold so the second book i read is sunrise by the sea by jenny colgan so this is the fourth installment in the little beach street bakery series such a long title uh it is set in a cornish seaside village or how i would like to call it the island that is hard to get to so in the previous books we mostly follow polly and you know her love and all that jazz uh, and we do follow polly in this one too but we also have a new character a, a, a new resident to the island as it were so we mostly follow along marissa who is struggling after her grandfather passed away so she's been retreating further and further into herself and she has gone as far as moving to the end of the earth or you know an island that's hard to get to so between the noisy russian piano teaching neighbor the bustle and hustle of the community of the tiny tiny village that is struggling to get back to what it once were before quarantine because it was that time and the pressing need to help the local bakery which is what polly uh, it's polly's baby so can marissa find joy at the end of the world or in this tiny cornish village that's on an island that's hard to get to so i adore this series i adore it so much so that it got me hooked on bread for a bit uh when i read the first two books <laughs> Honestly, the way she's describing bread making and all that, it's hard to not want all those baked goods. How can you not? How? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me how. So, like I said, I adore this series, so I was more than happy to jump back in and check in with this residence and, you know, some new local fauna, <laughs> some new local people too. And the third and last book that I want to talk about now before I run out of steam, which I might have already done, is Five Survive by Holly Jackson. So having just finished the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, I was both excited and, you know, a little afraid of picking up this book. So I love that series. And 
what could I be expecting from a standalone with a bunch of new characters, no, the, no, no the less, nonetheless? Well, I was not disappointed. This book is a locked room, or rather, locked RV kind of a deal, and it's the one you didn't know you needed. Six friends are on a road trip in an RV, heading to the beach for spring break. It's a long drive, but spirits are high until the RV breaks down in the middle of nowhere. There's no mobile phone reception and there's no one around to help. It's middle of nowhere. And as the wheels are shot out one by one, the friends realize that this is no accident. <laughs> there's a sniper out there in the dark and he knows exactly who each one of these friends are. One of the group has a secret that the sniper is ready to kill for. Don't think that just because it's a YA book that it's not a thrilling read, because it is. You get a little piece of the puzzle, like little breadcrumbs that you just have to follow along as each friend turn on each other. So who's the sniper after? Who can you trust? And most importantly, who will survive? Read it, Honestly, read it, you will not be disappointed. So uh, those were some recent reads. Um, yeah, that that's it. That's all I have to say. Um, hope you enjoyed. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.